Let's go. Here's some Everbay Coast stuff. On the last part, we... Got all the Waddleys and did some stuff in the town. This time, we will do the beach. You know, because that's fun. Okay. Bruh. This music is just fake outflowed islands, man. They're, they're tricking me. Those blippies are cute, though. Okay, wait. Wow, the water looks nice. Coconut. Oh, wait. Bruh, he died. How will I get bombed now? Yeah, I can't forget to do my annual amiibo scanning for the new level. A little extra more. Okay, um... New amiibo. Let's do Terry. Why not? Let's go, Wolf! I keep getting these cakes, man. Oh, yo. Bruh. Claymation alligator in the water over there. It's just as great as ever. Beautiful. That's adorable. I didn't know I could do that. He is just, he is just sitting there. Okay. That's just the Kirby Smash Wii U amiibo. Well, I mean, not amiibo, I mean, Kirby Smash Wii U render, I mean, not amiibo, but... I don't know. That's a weird way of saying it. Oh no! Oh, what? Crack open three, knock knock nuts. Oh, okay, that's not a coconut, that's a knock knock nut. Make no mistake there. Knock knock nut. It's a funny name. Oh no, the crocodile's after me. Yo. The loading screens are clean in this game. Okay, let's play with fire. Why not? We got a volcano now, so let's try that. Oh, wow, cool. Oh, bonker. Yeah, my favorite about one of my favorite abilities, hammer. Let's see how it works in 3D. Wild Bomb Girls look super cool, too. These ability upgrades are really helping as well. Hi there, Churchungus boy. We got Hammer. Now we can wallop stuff. Just like in Smash Brothers, when I charge this thing. Boom. That is satisfying as always. Good old hammer play. 
Okay. Oh, uh, here are Wawa. Where is this Wild Lee? I gotta find him. That was a rhetorical question, by the way. I'm looking for him on my own. But if I need guidance, I will ask. Yo. The hammer bumps on the ground if you flip it on the ground. Bruh. He just kind of like bounces. That's fun. Boom. I like flipping and then hitting the ground. It's fun. Boom. Oh, that's, um, bonus room, I think. Wait, where's this? Okay. He's probably up there. I'm not sure if that's progression. Probably not. Maybe he's just in plain sight, yeah. Oh, yeah, I can just multi bonk him, too. <laughs> They're so cute, man. Yo! We saved another one! We are the true champions! Ah! Gotta fix that light. Yeah, well, hammer is definitely fun. Do, 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 Okay. Destroy the animal sand sculpture. That is how you rescue the bees this time. Come here, water. Boom. Nah, can't hit the tree. That'd be fun though. More hammer, so you know it's still important here. I don't know what these water beetle things are, but they're kind of cute. Not sure what, about that enemy name, because I know a lot of the Kirby enemy names for some reason, but not that one. Oh, it's Scarfy. I'm gonna, I want to do the classic thing. Get rid of that. Yeah, there he is. Spooky man. Get him away. Okay. Bruh, he's drowning. The classic try to suck it up and it kills you technique. Wait, what is this? Why is there a sleeping woofy? That has to be a secret. I will send this sleeping woofy to Brazil! Bonk! Okay. I'm sorry. Bonkers. Bonk. Oh, secret cave. That's even better than a normal kind of secret. It's a cave. That means it's cool. Check it out. Oh, wow. This area is nice. Bonk. Oh, it's a, is it a time limit? This be like a Mario China challenge here. Or like any platforming game, but I think of Mario. Because, you know, I'm the Mario guy here. Okay, let's go. Got that little lead. So far, so good. Oh, wait. Did I miss a knock knock nut? I might have missed one. Oh! Oh, man. Um, I'm gonna look back real quick. For another knock knock nut. I kind of forgot about that objective, but I'm sure I'm not missing too much here. Oh. Well, it's something else. Yeah. Alright. Yo, I can kind of swim faster using this hammer. Just spam the hammer to go fast. Alright, 
think there might be a Waddle up there. Oh no! Capsule! Miss something. Hammer is even funner than usual in this one. Boom. Get that guy. I forget his name, honestly. Boom. Needless. Maybe I need needle now, I don't know. I wish I could hold on to abilities for later, like you could in like Mario or something. Like in case I actually do still need the hammer. Like there should be a reserve box, right? I don't know. Bruh, he's even cooler in the water. Oh, what? Um... Yo, on the ring. Boom. Where is that third thing? Yep, oh, I know what to do here. Boom. This guy's cool. Yo. Oh, this is like Super Mario Sunshine if it was good. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Giving me lily pad flashbacks over here. Super Mario Sunshine if he was a good game. Those metal bars kind of give me Kit Kat vibes. They're just steel Kit Kats. Um, what's over here? I'll keep exploring. If you never know what you might find. Like that. Wait. Oh no, that's that's where the Waddle Dee is. I have to save him. Yay! Do 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 I probably missed a coconut! I love the ability sounds. Reminds me a lot of the old games. Like, Nightmare in Dreamland. That was like my first Kirby game, actually. It's a classic. Nightmare in Dreamland. Kirby! Nightmare in Dreamland. Oh, no secret here? Oh, you can actually get those guys with your bow. I didn't even think you could. Ring Kirby's awesome. Oh, a tomato. Oh, good. I didn't miss a knock knock nut. Now I just gotta find whatever the last mission is. Boom. Oh yeah, wait, I'll just go this way. Boom. So much fences. Oh wait, that's it? That's the end of the stage? This stage for sure, man. Oh no, I'm... I don't know what the last objective was, but I guess we'll have to come back here again. That's okay. Honestly, it wasn't that long of a level. I don't mind that most of the time, unless it was something annoying, like them all level. Like, that was just rude, man. That was kind of rude. 
Okay. Wait, what? Complete the sign on the rooftop. Yo! I got monkey! Without even trying! I'm saving up to get some shop abilities. So, um... Didn't quite get a ton of those, but I got, like, a couple. Joramondo considers the local shopping mall to be his personal territory. As part of the Beast Pack's executive council, he's in charge of capturing wild days and gathering food. He tends to eat all the fruit himself. He just can't help it. This behavior has earned him an earful... Earful from his boss more than once. I wonder who the boss is. Probably DDD. No spoilers, though, people. These delightful residents of Planet Popstar landed in the New World before Kirby arrived. Things looked grim when wild beasts began to capture them and steal their precious fruit. Yo, that sounds familiar. That's the first Kirby game plot. Their food got stolen. It has to be by DDD, right? Probably. But with Kirby's help, they're rebuilding their town and starting over. I mean, it would make sense, because this is kind of like, not really a reboot, but, like, a new generation for Kirby. So, like, maybe they'll use some elements in stories from older games, including the very first one. Maybe. Just maybe. Okay, I have to save that D. He must be freed. Oh, they finished a new building in town. Let's go take a look. Okay, I'll go check that out in a bit. But I want to save the Waddle Dee. Wait, where is that? Thing I was just searching. Okay, hold up everyone. I'm just gonna pause real quick. Um, do something.
Hold up, everyone. Okay. Oh, wait. Why is that on the screen? I just, uh, I just banned a couple of new pods because they were being, they're, they're, they don't belong in, they don't belong here. Come on, it's just a bunch of new bots, man. Oh, I didn't even mean to find that. Anyway, I never knew what the really if I should be doing something with them or not, but I guess it probably doesn't hurt to just ban them, so it's not like they're real people watching my stream, so like whatever, delete them. I don't want my stream to look susty. So I gotta delete those for you bots. Oh, hammer tracker. Let's get this. Let's go, Kirby. Ah, oh, damn it. Hang on. Try again. Bro, they actually get squished. That is savage. Speedrun stretch. Ignore them. I am only wasting my time by blowing them up. Ah, 
Are you kidding me? I want to go for that target time. But it's going to be hard. Just experimenting. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. I should just hit all the enemies. It's safer. I just feel like it might slow me down. I don't know. Yeah, like that. Ugh. Frickin' bomb. Dang it. Come on, Kirby. We got this. Gotta time it perfectly, or otherwise those bombs will get me. Can't stop, won't stop. Yeah, I probably got it. Let's go. Boom. I'm gonna go back to the previous world to complete some other time trials too while I'm at it. Why not? No, I'm advertising this as an everybody co-stream, but like... I mean, it wouldn't hurt. Man. Okay. Yeah, I could definitely do better with the bomb. Ah, God, I hate bomb in this. I mean, I like bomb, but I don't know. It's just like the level of precision you need sometimes. Okay, should be good. Let's check it. Oh, okay. Be right back, by the way. I gotta do something real quick.
think I got them all, actually. I feel like I, I thought I missed another one, though. Um... Um... No, I think that's all of them. Okay, I'm crazy. Cool, well, the maps are all connected, though. Oh yeah, I should go back for this in a second. Oh, we're normal. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot to turn my other light on. I know your tricks. I'm not gonna s inhale these guys. Okay, apparently doing that does stuff too. like those Super Mario Maker levels where you have to get the Superstar. Bruh. No. Come on, Kirby. Faster? I can't tell. It might be faster than my regular speed. Go! Go Kirby! There we go, right on the mark. enemy goblin, huh? Don't really know how to do this ideally, then. Honestly, I thought it would be like cutting ropes or something. Cool.
Bro, we even got a mid boss here. Go. Bro, I probably have to beat that in a minute. <laughs> okay. Crying. Crying. I don't know if I'm doing this fast enough. Should probably just use the spin, I don't know. Okay, hold up. Let me just move over here for this. I just feel like it. I hate these guys. Kirby! Oh god. Okay, good. I just made it. Thank you, Kirby. That was annoying. There's mouth. Let's go. Step it up. Moving this. Oh wait, this is gonna be like a puzzle, isn't it? Oh gosh, this is gonna be more puzzly than the normal ones, isn't it?
Oh god, you know what? The target time is that long? Okay, wait. Ah, this is gonna be annoying. Maybe I should figure out how to beat it first. Maybe I think I have to move that. Wait, what the hell? Okay, I gotta figure this out. Wait. No, no. Cause how am I to keep it on there? Oh, is that how you do it? Okay, that makes sense. I will now restart again. Damn it, no wait. What is the mouthful of this one? Boom. Go Kirby. Awesome. Oh my god, there's still more puzzles! First of all, I think I have to get this and then move it around. Okay, easy that one. I have to move this. Most annoying puzzle of the centuries upon us. I'm probably gonna need to look up a video for this the next time. I'm going crazy just trying to beat this one. Wait, what?
Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Oh crap, if only I thought of that sooner. That was a mental gymnastics level. Yeah, not even close. Oh man, I want to get the target time for that. Or how? Okay, let me look this up. I didn't know I could do that with the mouth on too. Okay, I'm going to pause this. That sword is so crazy, man. Looking up a guide. Let's uh, even retain my sanity here.
Oh god, thank Christ. I'm on with insane man. Bruh, the complete the sign one is really obscure. Let's just zoom through with Ice Kirby. attention to detail here. So yeah, if you didn't miss a, much, a bunch other than a really absurd challenge level, and this level, which I'm speeding through now, to um, get a mission I missed, because I had to do that. Just chilling and breathing on the water with ice power. to do this, but that's a thing. Part of a mission. A little bit of a cool secret, I guess. Blasting through the levels are actually really short. So I don't mind too much. I 
Okay, be right back real quick. Just gotta do something. And then, for like a minute, and then I'll bring you back in here. Back. Okay. We were going to Concrete Isles. Who knows what adventures might await us? And we have Fake Out Float Islands music. They make you think it's Float Islands, but it's not. Wait, they're what the? They made the squishies yellow. This is new. Oh, three, three seabirds. Well, do. Oh, if you press R, you can actually swim normally with ice, too. Interesting. Oh, the beach ball. Oh, what the heck is that thing? What the heck kind of fruit is that? Oh, never mind. I thought it was food. It's a um, shard of some sort. I like how the float is kind of limited in this game. It's almost like non-existent in a way. Which makes sense. Oh, whoa! Yo! Crash! Kirby. Okay, I was trying to do full power. Nope. Ooh! Pretty cool. I couldn't quite do full, full power, but close enough. I don't know. I hope there wasn't a mission regarding that thing. You know, that's just the logo to The Sims. Just saying. Okay, what if I just hit under here? Full power! Boom. Yo, that's sick, man. Oh, a uh, green star. Oh, cool. And I have a D for my trouble. Boom. How are you doing, CF? Hope you're having a good day so far. Oh yeah, I forgot about the birds they want me to greet. Seabirds. Oh my god, you can actually see Kirby being wet. This is top tier quality game. He's he's got water on him. The, the detail is so real. Checkpoint. This must mean another bird is here, right? Oh, kill Kirby! I will do knuckles power and go. Rah, rah, rah. Or whatever he does says in Sonic Adventure 2. Wait, how do I dig? Oh wait, I can't dig in the water. However, I might be able to... Um... Eh? Hmm, not really sure how this power works. Okay, so I can dig. Oh, 
There we go. Nice. No wild bees, but... That's good. Glad to hear it. Oh, crap. Go, Kirby. This build power is cool. So I wonder how useful it will be in areas that don't have dirt. Unless they don't account for real life physics. Yo, I got myself some uh, macarons, I think? I don't know what those are actually. Bruh, that's the easiest capsule to get ever. Let's go. Bruh, you can just dive around like a dolphin. Seagull. Or seabird, should I say. Oh, now they're orange. We're gonna find more D's, aren't we? Oh, he can dig in metal, too. Or whatever that is. This Kirby's first to be reckoned with. Simple, but fun power. Oh. I am, uh... Scissor left in the mouth. Scissor lift mouth! Boom. It's a big shot, so. It's a big shot, so. It's a big chunky boy. Okay. Well, it's over there, probably. Nice save. Nice all. Oh. It's a certified thousand year uh, door Vivian moment. With the freaking room with the millions of spikes everywhere. Where you use Vivian to go under the ground to get a treasure or whatever. Yeah, let's go. I wonder where the last seabird is. There we go. Flying high in the sky. Oh wow, this area is really nice looking. It's beautiful. Yo! Oh, I thought I found a secret. Slightly disappointed, but it's what it is. Oh, he can only be under the ground for a number of time, I think. Boom. Yeah, hell is awesome. Definitely with this one. I don't know if you played Star Allies, but I kind of am I'm thinking of playing that again, too. First stream eventually. Probably not right away, though. Oh. Secret. Okay, so I guess the orange stars are just same area, kind of. Yo, what? Hype Kirby? Hype Mouth Kirby. Hype Mouth, I knew it. Bruh, look at him go! Yo! Wait, oh. I had to hit jump. I thought he would just go up. Oh, Waddle Dee. Starlight is pretty fun, to be honest. I know some people didn't like it, like, the main story, I don't know, the levels are a bit flat in my opinion, but, like, I think they're fun still. They definitely have cool secrets. Aw, oh, crap, I missed a Waddle Dee? No, okay, well. I'll find him later. Speed through this level. But, um, it's got, like, the extra content, in my opinion, definitely makes up for it, because you got, like, the extra characters, like, a hard challenge mode I hear. 
and like other stuff, and I'm definitely intrigued by it. Because I, I only played the main story, I haven't played any of the extra stuff yet. Let's go! Oh, bro, I have to dig up a Maxim tomato? I don't know where that is. Oh, wait, I already did that. Okay, um... Make landfall on the Isle of Treasure. I'll have to find out what that means. And I have to find out where this hidden waddle dee is. So, oh, bandana dee. Bandana waddle dee was pulled through the vortex. Pulled through the vortex along with Kirby. When he and his fellow waddle dees were being captured by the beast pack, he grabbed his trusty spear and ran to help. He can join you with P2 while you explore the new world. Bomb block. Let's go. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go back to the town. They built something new. Actually, first I'll do this. Because you can never have enough trial missions, right? Dig and destroy. Oh, crap. Oh, I guess you can't directly... Wait, what the heck? Hmm. That's strange. Ah! God. Don't know what they want me to do, but I want to do it fast. What? Oh, wait. Okay, I know what they're trying to tell me now. I didn't see that on the side. Okay, so I can do, like, a cool, like, attack if I do a circle. I get it now. Dang it! I don't know how close I should be to the thing before I start it. Okay, well, right there, I guess. Yo, that's cool. Oh, God. This is annoying. I'm a perfectionist, so I want to get the best time on this. Possible. With my trusty drill. I guess that's faster than making a circle on everything, huh? I shouldn't go too crazy here. Still not sure how to ideally, like, use this for combat, though. Oh, God. Stupid. Ah! Okay, go. Why do they want me to fight so many enemies? This is not like my ideal combat weapon, I would say. But I guess I'm getting used to it. 
More enemies. Yeah. I doubt I'm gonna make the target time with all this. Oh boy. God! Oh my god, are you kidding me? Ugh! Okay. This is gonna drive me mad. I swear, the target time. These target times are getting ridiculous. Okay, I'll look up a video. Hello, world ears. I'm sure. Bruh. Hello, world ears. Okay. Thank you, quick tips for the vid. Wait, what the? Okay. He kind of just killed them all in one hit. In one part. I don't know. I'm not good at using it in battle. It's the problem. It's still a new power, so I'm not used to it. Gosh. Gosh. Ugh. Okay. This will be a bit. Definitely. You have to know what you're doing. I was definitely too slow with whatever the heck I was doing. Oh, I see. They just want me to sit in the middle and wait for everybody to freaking get here. Nope. Okay, I kind of get it. Come on. Ugh, I hate doing that. Let's go. Okay. Now look at the video again. Okay. Huh. Okay, most of these enemies kind of just go into you, so, yeah. I definitely could have did that faster. Let me see how he does this next part. Oh. I see now. Should have figured. Ah! Such a waste of time if you don't connect your your thing. Okay. Beat these guys with another circle of doom.
My circle of doom didn't work. Retreat. Okay, let's see how I did. Probably. No! Okay, I'm, I'm learning the secrets of the drill. But I'm still not an expert. Why does it slow down so much when it does that? I don't like how it does that. Boom! I don't have to do anything crazy for these guys. These guys... Do a circle. Boom! Yeah! Let's see if we got it. Boom! Got him. It's all in the technique. Yeah, one cell. Second, Mr. Elf Man. I will check in a cell. Oh, what's this? Oh, okay. I can just press B to get to Waddle Town. The Virgin Waddle D The Virgin Cappy Town versus the Chad Waddle D Town. Oh, present codes, finally. Kirby's house. It's your home away from home. Yo, I got the restaurant, too. Yo. Waddle Cafe, help one it. Oh, man. I'm going to my house. Oh, it's so cute. You can make him say hi. Look at this little fella. Oh, a book. Ooh, I like this book. Wait, is this the only recent games? Oh, dang. It's only one that freaking zoomers would know. Not even Return to Dreamland is here. So sad. Kirby Starlight. Turn enemies into allies with friend heart. Combine your pal's powers to invoke mighty friend abilities as you fight to save the world. Play with up to four players by sharing Joy-Con. Surprised they don't have a freaking eShop link here. This game's pretty fun from what I played. Kirby Fighters 2. This combat-based fighting game lets you choose a copy ability that enter battles with up to four players. You can fight dear friends or unknown rivals all over the world. There's even a story mode where you'll face off against the tag team of King DDD and Mennonite. 
Boomer Curb Games. I agree. Super Kirby Clash. Free to start action game in which four Kirbys with different abilities take on quests together. In addition to the single player mode, enjoy a multiplayer via online and co couch co-op play. Kirby's Extra Epic Yarn. An action game where a Kirby made of yarn uses a new set of abilities along with yarn. Only possible with yarn. You mean like the same copy abilities because that's the way you shoehorn into this version, huh? Along with the various transformations, Kirby also has new Ravel ability. Yeah, that's what I mean. Kirby Battle Royale. Did anybody even play this one? I've never really heard anything about it. An action game in which Kirby faces off against hordes of rivals in all sorts of different battles. Up to four players can get in on the action via the internet or local wireless. Wait, is online play? Kirby's Blowout Blast. Got the classic music here. A sub-game from Kirby Planet Robobot. We were born as a scrolling 3D action game. Kinda like this. Race through a 3D space, inhaling and spitting out objects and enemies to beat foes and aim for the high score. Team Kirby Clash Deluxe. A sub-game from Kirby Planet Robobot with newly added features. With new quests and over 80 types of gear, it's a free-to-start game that can be enjoyed with up to four players profitably. I heard good things about that one. Kirby Ro Planet Robobot. A saber world invaded by an evil corporation. Kirby dons the Robobot armor, which can transform into over 10 different modes. Supports all amiibo. Bruh, they said the Wii U. They mentioned the Wii U. I wonder if they'll port all these, uh, they port these games in a collection. Especially all the 3DS ones, and the Wii Kirby to Return to Dreamland. Like, all the sub-game based games, the main ones, and that's it. That'd be a good collection, man. Guide Kirby to risk gold by drawing a rainbow line with the rainbow line with the stylus. Kirby can also transform into three different types of vehicles and team up with Waddle Dee for up to four player cooperative action. Kirby Fighters Deluxe. This was a good game. I liked, I liked it on the 3DS. A sub-game from Kirby Triple Deluxe with newly added features. Battle with your choice of 10 different copy abilities and up to 3 other players via local wireless. I didn't really play a lot of this one because I'm not really good at it. DD's Drum Dash Deluxe. A sub-game from Kirby Triple Deluxe with newly added features. Control King DDD as he moves with the rhythm, using different kinds of jumps to aim for the goal. Kirby Triple Deluxe. Entering action that moves not just left and right, but into the foreground and background of stages. In addition to 25 different copy abilities, this game boasts a powerful Hypernova copy ability. I don't know why, but I thought the title didn't have a colon in it. Did, did they add that? I don't remember that. I thought it was just Kirby Triple Deluxe. No colon. Weird. Same with Robobot. I thought it was just Kirby Planet Robobot, not Kirby Planet Robobot. I don't know. It's weird. Meanwhile, though, this is just Kirby Star Allies, not Kirby Star Allies. Like, I don't know. Weird titles. Sometimes. Look at this boy. Look at him. The boy. Wait. What did he eat? If you need a rest, quick nap in this cute little house. Ah, oh, to fork you up. I will enter random codes. Hey there, this is Waddle Lee Liveries. We bring delivery presents right to your door. Just enter any present code you'll find, and we'll ship the related presents in and drop them by your house. Speaking codes, there are a few present codes hidden right here in town. See if you can find them. Also, some present codes are shared through online announcements. We can hop online to click. I'll just, I just look these up on one poke page. Doesn't really matter. 
Want to see where it works? Sure you do. I hid a present code on the wall of the house across from us. It's not really hidden if you're telling me exactly where it is, but go check that wall and try to find out. Any present codes you find in town can be entered and claimed offline. Pretty nifty, eh? Yeah, Waddle Dee Lands. Me too. Okay, we enter and stuff on the Switch keyboard. Um, present codes, Kirby. Oh yeah, this one I got from Twitter. Wait, what? I what? Oh wait. Bruh, you kidding me? Okay. I must have spelled it wrong again. Let's go. Bruh. Of course, I'm being GameStop. They only give me 150 coins. That's so accurate. But, I mean, it gave me maximum tomato. Maybe they're not all that bad. Let's try this game. Bruh, I want the Kirby burger in real life. Oh, there's a two player one. Let's go. Play some mini games. This is like Diner Dash or something, I don't know. Yeah. Bruh. That's these waddle these are insane, man. Well, considering there's only too many items, it can't be that hard. This is just the freaking Wreck-It Ralph pan Pancake Milkshake again. Pancake. Milkshake. Pancake. Milkshake. This is gonna be easy. It's just reflexes, like a Mario Party minigame or something. Easy. Oh. Oh god. Oh god. Oh. Oh. 
Business here is insane. Ah! Ugh. I got one order wrong. So what? Okay. Food service in real life be like this. Might have been 34 if I didn't mess up the one guy. I want to try that again, but with ultimate satisfaction. Try it again. It's a fun little mini game. I feel like it's. I feel like it's faster with um, the D-pad. You can use that here. Hello there, Car MC Evac. I don't know how to pronounce that, but welcome. Okay, I know how to play. Why do all of them tell me exactly what they want, though? Like, do they just... Like, they're trying to describe the item, but they don't know what it's called? Like, why is it like that? That's SMH. These guys don't even know what they want if their bubbles are not clear. Can I get a... That's what they're like. There. Perfect. Boom. Hustle. Survive the lunch rush of doom. I know, right? Oh, but well, there's a cake now. I like that. Oh god. These orders are getting harder. Kirby's in the fast food shuffle now. Oh god. Ugh. Okay. Come on, Kirby. I'm sorry, the ice cream machine is broken. Sorry, was doing something. Uh, gosh, I am sorry, sir. The um, everything we are out of cheeseburgers and milkshakes and basically everything. We don't, we can only give you water. Oh no. Uh, yeah, blah, 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 This is stressful. This is, this is probably how real life food service is. I, I don't know. Probably as stressful as real life. Possibly more stressful. Can't imagine. Understandable. Have a nice day. Like those memes with the guy. No wrong orders, baby. Let's go. Okay. Now we're gonna do the hardest one. And it has the Kerr Burger. Welcome to... 
Hello there, welcome to Kerr Burger, home of the Kerr Burger. How, may I take your order? What kind of fast food restaurant serves cake, though? That's my question. Oh, gosh. The burger's gonna mix me up with tomato now. Their shapes are similar. Kind of. They're both round. Oh, God. I already messed up. No. I can tell the difference between a tomato and a burger. I swear. I just see round shape and I think tomato. My brain is used to processing this. Oh god, the, the burger! I'll just pause to cheat it. By the way, just to let you know, I played Sonic Adventure 2 Randomizer recently. It makes me actually kind of want to play the game again. Oh no! The burger! Okay. I'm, I'm hearing off track here. Uh, but anyway, I kind of want to play the game again. It was kind of fun. With the randomness, anyway. Who knows? Oh. Definitely gonna do that after whenever I stream Adventure 1 first. They're both really fun. The, 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 the cake. Uh, energy trick. Burger. Okay, I got this. Burger. Oh no, we got the fast food shuffle. Lunch rush of doom. Did he change his order mid thing? God, this is insane. Oh wait, no, I must have mixed it up. I'm so silly. Come on, carb. Probably has to do with the knuckles and the jet. Oh my god, the speed! What? Huh? 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 No! They're pissed. Uh, the Sonic stages are definitely the best. The Sonic and Shadow stages are best, definitely the best parts. I don't know, like... Putting aside my hatred for Tails' stages, which... Should be, like, whatever. Eggman stages are well designed, in my opinion. Knuckles' are kind of okay. Rouge's are okay. Mainly, their later stages are when it gets really annoying, but... Otherwise, they're kind of okay. And Sonic and Shadow, they're solid. So it's kind of a mixed bag. But I enjoy the story and presentation a lot. Like, it's got a good story. It's really cool. Definitely, like, one of the best Sonic stories, I'd say. And it's got definitely some epic moments. So I can see why everyone likes it, even though I don't appreciate all of its, like, random design choices. But it's a fun game, in my opinion. I just don't like it as much as the first one. That's my only thing. But I still like it more than, like, Sonic Heroes. Because Heroes was kind of, like, you play the same full story four times. And it's alright. It just, uh, I don't know. Some of its design choices are just kind of like, eh? Keep pausing. Bruh, these guys- this is, like, impossible without pausing. Oh my god! Bruh! I don't know, I'd give it a second chance. The story is, like, 
Definitely the best part, I would say. And the music is pretty good, too. Not as mu not as varied as Sonic Adventure 1, but... Definitely good soundtrack, still. Like, I can't say there is a bad song at all in the o OS. OST, whatever. I know, right? This is crazy. I'm I'm pause coming in, I don't care. It's annoying, but it works. Well, ultimate customer satisfaction, we have to do it like this. Because my brain does not work at 50 times speed like the game wants it to. Kidding me? Sonic Forces? But the levels are literally you walk, you just boost, and it ends in two seconds. And the classic Sonic levels are bad, man. Though the Avatar stages are kind of neat, I guess. But but like, come on, man! And the music in that game isn't even good either. Come on, man! The music is supposed to be good in Sonic games. Uh -huh. I'm ready to destroy CF now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, little one. No, I'm just kidding, though. Fair enough, but... I, I think Sonic Adventure 2 is one of the better games. Not as good as the classic games, not as good as Sonic Adventure 1. Don't know about Sonic Unleashed. Or Colors. Didn't really play those. Definitely better than Sonic 06. I'd say it's somewhere near the top, but not quite at the top. I don't know. I'd say Force is probably mid attack. Oh my god, I hate you. Screw these guys, man. The food service here is awful. They treat their customers like crap. Oh, this establishment. I want a refund. I want my, my time and sanity back. Working long hours at the grill here. <laughs> it's insane. The food at workers' establishment must be sued. I mean, honestly, I didn't think Sonic 06 was really that bad either. But I don't think it was good. Like, I like some of the Sonic stages in 06, honestly. And some of the silver stuff was kind of alright, but... And Shadow... Honestly, Shadow's levels were the worst. Because he has, like, annoying people sometimes. Okay, actually, I don't know. It's a toss-up between Shadow and Silver's levels. Because sometimes Silver's levels... Silver's levels are really annoying, and other times they're okay. Sonic has the best levels, but the worst story. I don't know why I'm talking about Sonic while I'm working the food service. Probably because, you know, 
Got nothing else to talk about here. The bird, the food is demanding. I can't say much. The pizza is aggressive. Oh my god, I hate you. Oh yeah, play it. Play it. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, honestly I wanna play it again. So I can just stream it. And then you guys can all see the amazing memes I'll make of it. But, I'm warning you, it wasn't as glitchy as I thought. Like, there were some funny glitch moments. But otherwise, like, it was kind of just a mid- like, level design, mid, like a mid-game, like, it wasn't even great, it wasn't terrible in terms of just gameplay we're talking about, if we're talking about the story, yeah, it's, it's terrible, but, we're just talking about the game, it's just kind of okay, nothing's fully realized or fleshed out, oh my god, I've been at this for, like, ever, screw these waddle these. I hate them now, they're all, they're all mad, I'm, I'm telling you. They're mad. They're mad. You can also play the definitive edition of Unleashed on Xbox One, so that's pretty base. Oh my god! Oh! Oh! Yeah, that's honestly, I like Sonic and the Black Knight a lot, even though it has waggle controls. I don't know why. Yeah, I, I had soul to it. It was a cool game. Also, yeah, um, Sonic 2 is definitely pretty fun, but I always preferred Sonic 3. I don't know. Just because it has, like, cool, like, more big open level design. It's like, almost like exploration-ish, in a way. Yeah. I finally did it. I beat them. And the gig. Oh. Awesome. Well, all is forgiven. He gave me this. Kirby's taken on a sidekick at the counter of the Waddle Dee Cafe. He's dressed like a Focus employee, but he's secretly fighting the urge to gobble up each dish himself. This might be the strongest struggle, greatest struggle yet. Stay strong, Kirby. Bruh. That's so funny. Oh, I can jump on the building. Yo. Yo. I have 11 of these things now. He is just, he is just sitting here. I like how I've just been messing around and not actually playing the levels. I mean, it's fun to mess around in this game. Who said I need to actually do anything? Bro, are you kidding me? You not okay, you need to play Sonic 3. It is and Knuckles. It is the best Sonic game ever. One of the best Sonic games ever. So keep in mind I also kind of like Sonic CD a lot, even though the opinion on that game is kind of mixed. Like, I don't know. Probably partially because of the music in the game, but like I think it's a cool game. 
sadness. Oh wow. I didn't know he can get stronger, that's cool. I'm glad I can keep up with you out there, Kirby. Kinda makes me feel like a real hero, you know? Oh my god, he's so adorable. Bro, that's, that's, that's the Samario play. Yo! Yeah. I don't know, the level design's wonky sometimes, but I think, like, the charm and soul and whatever they say makes up for it. I can still like a game while thinking it's flawed, so... That's my take of the day. I'm just chilling here. Okay, um, level stuff up. That is the next mission. Wait, where's the weapons? Oh. Wow, this game place is getting big. I think it's really cool, it's just the way you get to the future and past is kind of annoying, that's all. Danger, danger, this ability makes the biggest boom of all, and you can hold the button down to make it even big, biggerous, biggester. Nothing will escape that blast, Woo! A sturdy hammer with intense attack power. You reach a short, but it's worth it to bonk enemies. And stakes! Hold the button to charge, then let go to do a hammer flip. Power underground with your mighty drill. You can use this to dodge enemy attacks. If you dig in certain spots, you might be able to sneak into off-limits areas. <laughs> um, that was kind of sussy. Are you... Just one more minute, please. Oh, come on. I'm too sleepy. Just let me recover some health with a bit of rest. Upgrade sleep. Wait. Can I, can I talk to him while I'm sleeping? No, wait. I want to talk to him. Oh, bruh, you can blow up the bubble. That's so cute. Okay. Bombs? Wait, how can I upgrade stuff? Oh, I can view all my things here. Oh my god, look it up! Yeah, I'd say I played both of them pretty much evenly, other than a few of the main Sonic games, so I don't know. Mr. Sandbag's in the next room. You can practice your moves on him. How do I upgrade stuff? I forget. Hmm. I have to figure this out. Okay, next level, I guess. Hold up a second, I'm just gonna open my window. 
Bruh, I can move so fast. Thanks for that, Elphalon. Bruh, I've been playing two hours. I only made it through two of these levels. I'm a madman. I refuse to actually play the game. Okay, be right back. Okay. Let's go. Wanted posters. Why am I wanted? Who am I wanted by? I don't know. I wonder. Like, the game's lore is interesting, man. I see that bomb block. You can't trick me. Ooh. Clutter needle blue sprint. Blueprint. Now you're gonna build the needle ability. Oh yeah, I need to scan a Meepo. I'm gonna do two of them this time. I'm trying to think of a Michi Amiibo, but I can't really think of any. <laughs> I have a bunch of them, so it's hard to say. They're most of them are scrambling. Speaking of. We got Scramblo Bimblo himself. Scramblo Bimblo. Speaking of Scramblo Bimblo, I will show you Ryan right here. Scramblo. Bimblo. Two of them. I don't know if you saw that, but it was funny. It was a funny moment. Oh, yo. I wonder how many freaking wobblies there are to save. There must be hundreds of them. No way, my tomato. Hey though. Carm M Carm M Car M C Evac. Pretty good. Welcome to the stream. Playing Kirby for the first time. I mean, this one, anyway. So, uh, well, okay. No, my power! Bruh, it's just, like, slowly, gently falling down. Come on, man. Um, I don't know, two hours? You think? It's been a while. I did some earlier, too. Sometimes I play these games a lot. Depends on the game. I at least plan to beat this world today, and then maybe do, like, two more next time. I don't know. With Kirby, I can kind of structure it. So. It's, like, easy to... I'm gonna use this one. This is a powered-up version. 
Hang on. Oh, what the? Tornado burn! Bring it on, Florina! Ow. Why not have Tornado is in this one? Boom. Yeah, it's pretty fun. So far. Um... I already have a friend who um, helped me out with uh, some already, so... I don't know, man. I think I'm good, but thank you for your offer. fun in this. Usually it's kind of like, I don't know, it's, it's, it's good in the past games, but like, I don't like how it keeps you vulnerable after you use it. I'd say it's the best in like, Squeak Squad or something. No. Okay. Okay, oh, I have to hold it to make it go like that. Easy. Oh yeah, have, have you seen any more wanted- oh wait, there's one right here! Wanted poster! Crazy. Arch Archmouth. Through a barrel. Why don't you do some this? <laughs> that meme is so funny. Why don't you do some stuff instead? Oh, it's a spin tackle. It's not as fun. This is this just raises the question. What if Fluzzard from Mario Galaxy 2 was good? That is, that is the question this ability raises. Arch, Archmouth is definitely fun. Oh no, ouch. Owie, ouch. Secret inbound. It's like finding a secret route in Star Fox. Let's go. Oh no, I missed one. Where is the Waddle Dee? Oh, 
Wait, why can't I retry? It's sussy. Um. Hidden waddle these. Cement. Summit. Oh. I missed a wanted poster too, didn't I? Oh, I know I didn't. Let's go. Bruh, what secret room? Don't even know what the fourth one is. You kidding me? A libel mall sign. This was the logo for a libel mall owned by libel Holden Company. Excuse me. Making life even livelier. livelier. Was their corporate slogan. They ran a wide range of businesses, entertainment arenas, food shops, service industries, and other remains of those businesses can be found in all kinds of places, empty and alone. Man, this is kind of mysterious. Okay, I have to find this secret room, which is probably where the Waddle D is, too. Boom. Getting close to the boss already. I can feel it. Oh my god, that's so cute. Oof, okay. Man, there's so many of those bonus thingies. Let's go back. Um... Okay. Head down to launch the... Oh, okay. I'm just gonna speed through as quick as possible. Oh yeah. What is this other mission? Oh. Bruh, it wants me to use ice. It wanted me to use the non-powered up ability that was there. And against the mid-boss. Why would I do that? Okay. I think this enemy can freeze like the other ones. Oh yeah, I forgot I can do this. Where's the restart stage button? Uh. Okay. Oof.
I'm not even looking at what I'm doing right now. Okay. My, my life thing is gone. This boss is kind of tough. Okay, yeah. Oh, bruh, how did I not see that? If I just went a bit to the left. Yeah, I'd say so. It's pretty easy to control. Compared to the- oh god, okay. That's what it wanted me to do. Nope. Yo! Yeah, it's kind of hard to control, but it is fun in Kirby Spring Squad for me, at least. What Kirby games have you played, by the way? Hopefully you've played Superstar Ultra, aka Peak Kirby.
And if not, I definitely recommend tracking down a copy, because that's like one of the best Kirby games ever. And it has great sprite work and other stuff. Let's go. Wait, what? Are you kidding me? Uh, I thought I did do that, though. It's literally... I was using ice. How do you freeze Lorena? Oh, man, I hate this. I hate it now. Okay. Uh, I should have just thought of that, but it's whatever. It's a pretty base lineup. You basically played most of the good ones. I'd recommend Epic Yarn, that's a fun chill game. Different, but it's fun. Ah, oh, you suck. Oh, I did it! I think. Okay, you know what? This boss sucks. Just in case I fail, I wanna, I wanna try again. God, 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 God! I hate re-exploring, re-exploring stages. Why can't I just leave and then that's it? Why do I have to beat the level two? Kirby, I swear. Bro, you haven't played Kirby 64. What the heck? It's a good one. And Dreamland 3 is pretty cool, too. Basically, all the Kirby games are good. Except for Battle Royale, maybe. I don't know. I don't hear anything about it. So, it has to be bad, right? Yeah. Alright, I have an idea. Destroy me. First time we've seen this, and it's on purpose. What? I mean, I get that it's kind of slower than other Kirby games, but, like, it's got such a chill vibe. And, like, the graphics are so colorful, and it's got, like, fun animal combinations. Like, I don't know. It's not one of my favorites, but I appreciate the artistic charm it has. Like, it's got, like, these pastel crayon graphics like Yoshi's Island. But, like, even better, I'd say. At least in my opinion. Gameplay-wise, it's not the most fun, but, it, you know, it's definitely, you know, one of the more relaxing Kirby games, I guess. 
And the music's really good, too. So, I don't know. I'd say it's more in the middle for me, probably. I like Kirby 64 more, and I would say it's better than Dreamland 2, even though Dreamland 2 isn't bad either. Yo, I did it! Most people don't like it because it came out after Superstar. I mean, for the people that don't like it anyway. Like, most of the Superstar fans don't like it, because, like, it came right after Superstar, like, two years. And it doesn't have, like, the same amount of depth that that game has. Like, there's no, like, multiple moves for each ability. But, like, I appreciate it for what it is. It's, like, a simpler game. I, I, I respect it. Like, it's not bad. Wait, you don't even need Tornado. <laughs> That could be it, too, like, especially after playing Dreamland 2 and 1, like, it's, it's most similar to Dreamland 2 and 64, so, definitely, maybe, space those out, because, like, I feel like Kirby's best when there's, like, some variety. I m maybe you play, wait, did you play them on Dream Collection? Because, like, Dream Collection has freaking. 1, 2, 3, 64, Superstar, and three. so. Yeah. That's fair. I would say give it a look back, maybe on the Super Nintendo online app or something. That's how I've played it recently. New collection's awesome. I hope they do a second one. Dream Collection 2. We need the Kirby 30th and celebration we deserve. Okay, there. Oh yeah, before I forget, I should go back. Hopefully these streams won't burn you out on Kirby, because I'm basically this is all I'm gonna be playing. Other than um Mario Kart when I get the chance to play that, so pop in whenever you um feel like it, but not too much. You know, up to you. Just like with next, like I'll probably pull in viewers eventually because it's a new game. Definitely. There's our Kirby, Kirby 64 reference. I don't know. Definitely Kirby has the most overall better quality output of games. Like, as much as I like some Yoshi games, I'd say half of them are good and half of them are bad. I would say the same thing about Mega Man X, to be honest. 
like a Mega Man X1, 2, 4, 5, and 8 are good, but 3, um, 6, 7, they're not good. So, like, half of the games are not good. Sadly. It's faster. I like it. Wow, sad. Wonder what they're going to build next. Or maybe not anything, I don't know. Wait, what's down here? Oh, that's the arrival point. Don't really see much of a reason to go back there. Island, I mean, Yoshi Story is also a really game, a good game. I don't care what people say about that. That's like a wholesome, awesome game, even though it's not as good as Yoshi's Island. Like, I think it just gets a bad rap because it's different, you know, and short. Like, I still thought it's a fun game. Oh, what? I can do this? That's easier. I think Ruling World was definitely close. Doesn't help that Nintendo never seemed to have the confidence to just, like, do it on their own again after Yoshi's story. Like, they just pass it on to, like, there were tons of other developers, like, frickin' r and then, like, you know, Good Feel. Okay, we got one more level, and these levels. I played it quite a bit as I can. Yeah, tornado is kind of cool. Oh, I can jump with it, too? They're mostly just hard to 100%, but easy to complete, I would say. My only problem with Ruling World was that uh, it didn't, it just used the same mid-bosses over and over again for some reason. Like, I don't know what that, the deal with that was, but... They just kept using the same boss. They got the freaking Mole and the Paratrooba, and that's it. It's like Mario 3D Land Syndrome. They only got Boom Boom, 
on pause. But I mean, at least the regular boss is made up for that. Like, I thought that was kind of funny that they just have the same two mid bosses. Also, some of the extra levels are really absurd. But it's okay. I guess they're supposed to be crazy. Okay. We are doing this. No, that's pretty cool, man. I feel like frickin' Sean over here. Just like throwing discs around like crazy. I'm frickin' Sam Flynn from Sean Legacy or something. Boom! Ow. Oh god. This is getting a little bit crazy. I don't know how to control these things. Okay, I kind of get it now. And it's a shame that the music is so good in Wooly World and then in freaking Crafter World, they just get the worst composer imaginable for it. And then it just... such a downgrade. Sad. Like, Crafter World could have been, like, a step up. And I hear it's pretty decent, but, like, I don't know. I haven't played it, but... Like, I guess there's a reason nobody really talks about it. Surely. Like, I haven't heard a ton of discussion about it. And that can't just be because it's Yoshi. Like, Yoshi could have a real hype and, like, next level entry if he really wanted to. Just like Donkey Kong, like... You got, they got freaking Donkey Kong Country Returns and Trackable Cold Freeze, and those are said to be, like, some of the best 2D platformers ever. So, like, surely Yoshi can have a good game again. Nintendo just has to freaking beef up their output here. Make Yoshi great again. Oh my god, I hate this freaking thing. Wow, really? What about the original? I thought Yoshi's Island had great music. I mean, not like the best, because honestly... Usually I'm not the biggest fan of Super Nintendo soundtracks that aren't like Kirby Superstar or like... Um... Kirby Stream Land 3, Mega Man X, like other than those. And, like, RPGs, of course. I can't really think of Super Nintendo music that blows me away. I don't know. I think that's the main thing, but... I think Yoshi Sto uh, Island has pretty good music. And Yoshi Story has pretty good music, too. Even though it's the same theme. Yeah, what? What? Bruh, come on! Come on, you don't like that? Okay, I guess you don't like the Super Mario World soundtrack then. Like, come on, they take that they take the one song and they run with it. And Yoshi's Island and Story. Like, come on, man. Sure, that Whirly World does have good music. I don't know, I just think Kotaka is like a great composer, so. And I'm surprised he hasn't really done much with Nintendo lately. Where is Kotaka, man? Okay. Oh man. Okay, this is the hard part. 
The good thing is I don't have to press all these buttons at once. Also, they look like the Mario Party Red Space. Oh god. No, wait. Yeah, Mario World... Wait, are you kidding me? Ow! Ugh, I suck at this. Okay. Yeah, this sucks. Okay, let me look it up. Okay, I think I just have to stand in the center for most of these. Okay, yeah. I can do it. Okay, I think I get this thing now. Dang it! How am I getting a bit better here? And I keep getting beaten up by these... Yeah, honestly, Mario World, Mario 3 has good music, but I feel like Mario World has better music. I don't know, I'd argue Mario World has better level design, even though the game is a lot easier. Like, cause, like, there's all these cool secrets and, like, fun stuff. Like, Mario 3 revolutionized Mario, and Mario World perfected it, perfected it, I would say. Even though it's kind of similar to Mario 3. Yeah, let's go! I did it! Boom. That was an exercise. Okay. And what else? There 
yeah, this level right here. And then the boss. Save the hidden... For a second I thought it said Waddle Do It's, which are not here. So strange. There's a game full of Waddle Dees, but there's no Waddle Do's? What the heck? Oh, good music. Let me put, put it louder. Chill stuff right here. Guess Water Kirby isn't in this game. I mean, if he was, he'd be in this world, like, pretty much immediately. So it's kind of similar to, like, fire and ice, so I understand that. They got, like, the essential power-ups here, so far. Music here is awesome. Crap, two more. Eat three tins of fish. You mean tuna, right? Also, yeah, Monkey Ball 2 is awesome. And so is Super Mario World. Honestly, to be honest with you, I never beat any of the, the 2D Mario games, except for Mario 1 for the longest time. It's easier for me to beat the 3D ones. Those are the ones I grew up with. I, I, I've played the 2D games before and grew up with them, but they were, were never as big for me as the freaking 3D ones, which are like basically like the stuff I played, so... I made up for that recently. But, they're all awesome games. Oh, I can do a jump now. Boom. ability. Orange. Oh, I think I might need that. I started playing them all, well, most of them anyway, other than New Soup. Basically, when Mario Maker 2 was on its way, because, you know, I figured, I figured that was the best time to make up for that. Did a similar kind of thing with Crash 4 when that was coming out, and played all the... the uh, I mean, I played Crash 3, and Crash 2, and Crash 1 at least. But I kind of still want to play the rest of the series. Like, you know, like, Warp, I mean, Wrath of Cortex, even though that, her, that isn't the best. Like, maybe I'll just do Rackers for attacks eventually. I think that's a good idea. I don't know. Alright, 
Okay, I don't know what I'm missing, but I feel like I'm missing a lot. Right, can he go in the water? No, he dies. I'm crazy trying to find stuff that probably doesn't even exist. Oh, I hear him. Bottle D, I'll save you. Inkling! Oh wait. Two of them. I see now. Oh wait. That's easy. Oh my god, I'm dying. I'm flipping dying, man. I'm missing one. No. Oh well. I also have not found the other tins of fish. Tins of fish. Oh, there's one right there. Pretty funny.
Boom. If this were Crash 4, they'd want me to do all these objectives in one one in one run for a perfect clear or something, and I, I hate that. That's the most annoying thing about Crash 4 for me. Wait, that was part of the main level? Ow. Okay. I didn't find all the tuna. I'm sad now. Okay, time to see what we missed here. Golden fish? Win the battle without falling into the water. Whoa, Tortildings built a shelf is a whole building. This big baddie must be some kind of boss for the smaller beast. Enjoys basking in the sun, so it climbs the high spots and it claims the whole area as its territory. It must take a long time for this critter to get up there. True, but it, it, I think it takes a little bit overboard, to be honest with you. Big Cabo. That's my main problem with Crash War. <laughs> Alright, 11 wall of these. Bruh, he isn't the first boss, he's the second boss. Okay, wait. Let me just look up missions here. Clear without using a copy ability. Destroy his roots. Clear without taking damage. Yeah, they're definitely pretty hard, but like, 100 percenting past four is a way past absurd. Honestly, I think I'll just fight the boss and then just do the objective stuff on my own time because I'm getting, you know, a little bit tired for today, so. I'll just do those other things later. Cool hat, though.
Bruh, he has a he has a freaking beard. I didn't even see that. Bruh, this does so much damage. Oh. Okay. Okay, you know what? No. I'm not taking that. I want to I want to beat him with no damage. I have to. I just didn't dodge, man. I simply didn't dodge. It's fun playing with Ranger, honestly. Oh god. Damn it. Yeah, whatever. Doesn't matter. Now I have to kill the room. Much roots, man. This is almost like the episode of Kirby right back at you where Team DVD tries to kill Wispy once with a freaking chainsaw and lightsaber, and then uh, Kev and Top try to stop him or something. He just freaking tries to kill Wispy. I didn't think the roots would be able to hurt you, so, um... Bruh, why isn't it hurting him? Oh my god, this freaking gates are so annoying. Let's pretend I beat him in one hit. I mean, pretend I freaking beat him without damage. But, uh, yeah. Thank you everyone for checking out the stream, and, uh... Yeah. That was awesome. Oh, what? Right here. Outfitting. Thank you for sticking around. So, yep. It was pretty fun so far. And I will 
get you later in a second. We'll just see what happens. Yo, is that a Ferris wheel? Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait. Before we stop, we have to talk to the wise Waddle Dee. Look at this guy. There you go. There's there's your number. I've destroyed 280 Wuffies, and the combined total is 190 hundred thousand. Okay, they're dead. They're dead, man. The wise Waddle Dee told us. Okay, and that's the end of the stream. GG's.